Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this miniature abandoned car. It's covered in rust, dirt, grime, and a lot of overgrowth. This car is part of my Halloween Haunted House Dollhouse Kit, but you can use the same techniques to make the car fit any style you like. This video is done in collaboration with Amanda over at Panda Miniatures. She made this awesome gas pump in the same style. This piece looks super realistic and goes perfectly with the car. Make sure to check out the video and her channel in the links below. Let's get started. This car comes from a pretty inexpensive dollhouse kit, so it's not the best quality. It's made of plaster and created in the image of a vintage Volkswagen Beetle convertible. The first thing I'll do is remove this pink paint job. With acetone and some cotton pads, just slowly wipe away all the paint. You can also use a cotton swab to get into all the finer lines. Once you have all the paint removed, it's time to carve out some details. The windshield was originally just silver paint, but let's create a more realistic one by carving that area out. I first drill through the plaster with a thin hand drill, follow up with slightly thicker drills. This will help prevent the plaster from cracking. Once you have a small opening, take a small razor saw and begin removing bigger chunks of plaster. Be patient here, you don't want to break the plaster. Now that we have an opening, file down any rough edges. I'm going to draw out the areas for the headlights too, but that's totally optional. They don't look bad as is, so you can totally skip this step. Next, take some cream colored acrylic paint and cover the entire car. Don't forget the interior. Two coats will give you smooth, even coverage. For the car seats, I mix a bit of light pink into the cream to create a different hue. Paint the seats with it. For some texture, grab some tissue paper. I have this napkin that I tear into tiny pieces. Glue that to the seat with some watered down paper glue. Once that dries, add some more of that pinkish cream paint. That looks pretty good. For the convertible top, take some black acrylic paint and paint that back area. Do the same for the wheels. Now let's add in some trim detail. With some metallic silver acrylic paint, cover the trim and the bumpers. I add some silver detail to the top of the hood, the side mirrors, and inside the headlights. Paint the front and tail lights too. While the silver paint is still out, add some detail to the wheels by painting the rim silver. Go back in with some black acrylic paint and a dotting tool to outline the spokes. There, that looks pretty good. Now let's add some glass to the car. For that, I'm just using some clear plastic packaging. For the windshield, cut off a small piece. Line it up behind the windshield and trace that shape. Cut it out and now you have a window. You can glue it in as is, but I want an H look, so I cut some slices into the plastic. That creates the look of a cracked window. Use a craft knife to score some lines and it's ready to be glued in place. For some glass in front of the headlights, I just punch out two tiny holes out of plastic. Score it up and glue them in place. Just a few more final details before we can really start aging this car. For the car door handles, I paint the end of a coffee stir silver and cut off two slivers. Glue them to the top back of the car doors. You may have noticed that this car doesn't come with a steering wheel, so we'll need to make that. Take some thin jewelry wire and cut off a 3 to 4 inch segment. Bend it in half and twist it together. Leave a bit of the ends apart. Now grab some E6000 glue and a little O-ring. Glue the open ends to the top of the ring and snip the excess wire off. Shorten the twisted length as well. Now with some black nail polish, paint the wheel. Once that's dry, you can glue it to the bottom of the front dash. This car already has this weird hole in that area, so I just stuck the steering wheel in there. Grab another coffee stir and slice off a very thin strip. Split it in half and paint the pieces black. These will be your windshield wipers. Glue them in place. Okay, final detail and it's totally optional. I went ahead and painted the bottom of the car silver, but it's kind of overkill. Finally, it's time to get to the fun part of making this car look super old and dirty. With some dark reddish brown paint and a small stippling brush, dab some paint all over the exterior. Cover the hood, the windshield, above the wheels, well, pretty much everywhere. Use a thin brush to add an even darker brown to all the grooves. This brings out the detail and creates the look of grime stuck in all the crevices. Add some of that color to the wheels too for the look of mud. Keep piling the paint on until it's as dirty as you like. Then for the look of rust, we need some texture. I apply some glue to the areas that I want texture and I grab some wood and a file. File away at the wood and the sawdust that falls will stick to the glue you lay down. When that dries, go over it with dark brown paint. The texture helps create the look of buildup grime and rust. To dirty up the interior, I take some gray paint and dry brush it to the back seat. 
also add it to the floor and the front seats. You can stop here and be finished, but this car will eventually be displayed with a house and some fallen trees, so I'm going to add some greenery. This dollhouse kit comes with a bag of paper greenery, but you can get a similar product in the links below. I squeeze some glue into the interior and lay some pieces down. The placement is pretty random, and you can add as many or as few pieces as you like. I add some to the top of the hood and even stuck one behind a wheel. For some leaf buildup, I spread some glue to the car and then break up the greenery between my fingers. The remnants will fall and stick to the glue. Tap off the excess and you have yourself a very abandoned car. To keep all the foliage in place, I make some paper glue with water and apply it to the top of the pieces. Prune your car if needed and you're done. This car is part of a haunted house kit I'm working on and I can't wait to show you the complete a house. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.